In March 2017, New Century Resources began the progressive acquisition of the famous Century Zinc Mine, located 240 kilometres north of Mount Isa in far north Queensland. The region boasts several major mines from MacArthur River in the northwest to Mount Isa in the southeast. The Century Mine lies in the western fold belt of the Mount Isa Inlayer, adjacent to the major northwest trending termite range fault. The purchase of the Century Mine also included a 300km underground slurry pipeline to the northern port of Kurumba, as well as a 5,000 tonne self-propelled, self-discharging maritime transshipment vessel. At Kurumba, concentrates are dewatered before being transported to export ships anchored offshore in the Gulf of Carpentaria. Century Mine zinc concentrates have previously been sold to smelters in Australia, Asia and even as far afield as Europe. The Century Mine site and related mining leases include the main pit and processing plant to the north, the large tailings dam to the south, an airstrip to the southeast and related exploration tenements in the surrounding region. In terms of geology, Century is a zinc-lead silver mine lying in the western fold belt of the Mount Isa Inlier, in laminated siltstone of the Lawn Hill Formation. The mine is located adjacent to the major northwest trending termite range fault. Repeated geological reactivation of this and associated structures have played a major role in creating the basin in which the Century zinc deposit formed. At its height, the Century mine was the third largest zinc mine in the world. The Century Mine sale also included all associated infrastructure, including the mobile fleet of Komatsu trucks and excavators, and Caterpillar dozers, and a 7 million tonne per annum processing plant. A substantial tailings deposit exists at Century, generated from 16 years of large-scale operations from the Century Open Pit. Zinc, lead and silver mineralisation was deposited in sub-horizontal layers with a depth of just 15 to 20 metres as mine tailings from three separate outflow sites in the northern part of the tailings dam. Due to the consistent feed assays, the tailings deposit is considered relatively homogeneous and consistent throughout. The current proved ore reserve for the Century tailings deposit is 77.3 million tonnes at 3.1% zinc equivalent, broken down as approximately 3% zinc and 12.4 grams per tonne silver. The reprocessing of tailings provides a mechanism for the economic rehabilitation of the mine site, with the tailings area representing a significant portion of the current rehabilitation requirements. Tailings operations are scheduled to begin in the third quarter of 2018. Several independent metallurgical studies have been completed, demonstrating the tailings can be reprocessed through the existing plant with minor modifications to achieve recovery of around 63% of the remaining zinc into a saleable 52% zinc concentrate with high silver content, averaging 213 grams per tonne. A slurry pipeline already exists from the tailings deposit to the processing plant, which is in excellent condition after 16 years of use and is currently on care and maintenance following cessation of processing operations in 2015. Its official capacity is 7 million tonnes per annum of hard rock ore, or as much as 15 million tonnes per annum when reprocessing tailings. Key equipment includes a conventional froth flotation circuit comprising 21 stirred mills and 79 flotation cells, an on-site laboratory capable of handling all exploration and plant samples, and equipment workshops and stores for all mobile and fixed plant maintenance. A number of promising in situ deposits exist around the main pit area. Given the planned near-term restarting of operations via tailings reprocessing, potential exists for these resources to be used as blending material processed via the existing plant. The main century pit is approximately 1.5 kilometres across, with a depth of around 350 metres. After reprocessing, the reworked tailings are planned to be deposited back into the original main pit and then encapsulated by subaqueous deposition. A 
A simple cutback of the original century main pit is found immediately to the south, known as South Block. Mineralisation at South Block is considered part of the original ore body, but was not mined due to the then low zinc price. South Block has a JORC compliant indicated resource of 6.1 million tonnes of ore at 6.8% zinc and lead, broken down as 5.3% zinc, 1.5% lead and 43 grams per tonne silver. New Century has engaged the Wani Regen joint venture to carry out mine design, engineering and costing services as part of an upcoming formal feasibility study. East Fold Block is a small deposit close to the existing main pit and located just 35 metres below the surface of the original run of mine stockpile area. The Jork compliant mineral resource for East Fold Block is 0.5 million tonnes at 12.7% zinc and lead, comprising 11.6% zinc, 1.1% lead and 48 grams per tonne silver, for a total zinc equivalent metal content of 64,000 tonnes. East Fold Block would be a simple open pit operation with significant upside potential due to an impressive high grade drilling intercept of 26.8 metres at 15.8% zinc directly below the current resource. Silver King is a high grade silver rich deposit only 1.5 kilometres from the main century pit. Discovered as far back as 1897, Silver King has a history of small-scale underground mining, including small shafts and workings to a depth of around 60 metres. Estimated historical production was over 3,000 tonnes of lead and 100,000 ounces of silver. The current Jork compliant inferred resource for Silver King is 2.7 million tonnes at 19.4% zinc and lead, broken down as 6.9% zinc, 12.5% lead and 120 grams per tonne silver. Silver King was not mined previously due to its underground nature and relatively small scale compared to the main century pit. Today, with higher lead and silver prices, Silver King has potential to be an economic operation as well as upside potential along strike. In summary, reprocessing of tailings will pave the way to a safe, low-risk path of restarting century mine operations. From there, New Century Resources has excellent potential for immediate development of nearby deposits as well as longer term exploration potential in the surrounding area.